Welcome to the Gwent Deck Guide, featuring Colgrim's Kingslayer Deck. The key component of this deck is the ability to deliver high tempo plays paired with some amazing thinning. This gives you an advantage early on in the game while setting you up for a mean turn 3 play. The following cards are a must-have. Letho Kingslayer, Fion Fargerno, and Colgrim. The deck is also complemented with some hyper thinning with the likes of Roach, Affen Hillegrand, and Nikus. No matter on which coin you start, there are two main things you want to consider. First, remove duplicates, and second, don't be afraid to fish for key cards. Even in the event of having an unwanted duplicate, you can still remove the cards with your leader ability or make good use of selective mutation. Also note that since Colgrim is our main win condition, we want to mulligan him away until turn 3. Here are a few quick combo options you have. First up, Albrecht, Affen and Roach. Quite a strong combo, giving you the extra edge you need in a tight situation. Good boy! Next up, Hunting Party. Note that all statuses including Shields, Veil and even Vitality trigger it. Paired with the Nausicaa Sergeant and Impera Brigade, we get that sweet, sweet Wombo Combo. Here's another one which can be game decisive. We play Warrant the All-Seeing on the melee row, putting the highest provision cost card on top of our opponent's deck. If it's something we want, we can either play Gorfoot Gwet into Viper Witcher Alchemist, exchanging the card and pulling it out afterwards. Or simply play Warrit into Cantarella, giving us the card right away. The Nausicaa Sergeant gives us all the opening value we need. It gets a passive boost with all the deployability cards and pairs well with the Impera Brigade because of the soldier status. We want to play the Viper Witcher Adrenaline ability to litter the opponent's deck with unwanted bronze cards, giving him less mulligan options and increasing his deck size. Don't be afraid to overcommit in the first round. Here we use our leader ability and draw Affen Hillergrand. Remember to always select Affen first, since the first selected card is the one that will be placed on top of your deck. Since we are up two cards, our opponent is forced to dry pass. We play Albrecht and place Warren on top of our deck. Round 3 is all about timing. We play Warren on the melee row to fish for a high value card. Since we have a lot of boosts, we play Cantarella into Morkrock, Heart of Terror, rendering the card useless for our opponent. We follow up with Geralt Quen into Colgrim. The shield from the Adrenaline ability protects Colgrim from the longship. We also use a Viper Witcher to further stack our opponent's deck, increasing the difference and boost Colgrim receives. I made the mistake of not disabling the longship, resulting in a close draw. Here our opponent is playing a V deck. Since his main win condition revolves around getting the card in and out of his deck as many times as possible, we have to make it our top priority to either exchange it with the Viper Witcher Alchemist or snipe it with Cantarella. We play a standard first round using all the tempo we have to keep up with our opponent. We use the leader ability with 3 cards left, since this is the most value we can get from it. Here. I make the decision of mulliganing away Siri and Fion, since we have no use for them this turn. Our opponent wants to play for long rounds, so here is where we overcommit. We play Warren on the melee row, putting V on top of our opponent's deck. With Viper Witcher Alchemist, we exchange it, taking away our opponent's main win condition. Even though we are down two cards, we still have a chance of winning this. After dropping Siri. We start closing the card gap, also buying us an extra turn for Colgrim to get boosted. With Letho and V, we take away the victory, which otherwise would have been a very tough game to beat. This is the reason why it's so important to have Fion for Gernot. 
Here, my opponent is forced to Oniromancy into a Karathi Heatwave. Instead of removing Colgrim, our main win condition, he's forced to banish Fion, eventually giving us the chance to Litho for a solid win. Note that I do not stack both Colgrims on the same row, because we want to play around Geralt Yirden. Siri Dash is a great card for two reasons. First, it gives you a free draw, and second, it forces the opponent into making awkward plays. If left unchecked, it can throw off your opponent's last card advantage. Since we protected with Fion, it makes it even harder to remove. This way we bait out most of the hard removal, giving Colgrim more survivability. Remember what I said about not stacking rows? As it turns out, our opponent has a Geralt Yirden. We would've won the game either way, but it's important to keep that in mind. Overall, this deck offers variable gameplay with a lot of fun, memorable moments. With that being said, I also have to mention that this is not a beginner's deck, since the success of it highly depends on game and meta knowledge. But don't let that dissuade you from trying it out. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time. Until then, how about a round of Gwent?